91.3 FM, WLVR in Bethlehem is the Kid Loaf's the Prez. I'm live, I'm direct on the Cypher Radio Show. I got a very special guest on the phone. He took his time out real quick to call in. The boy name is Snipe Life. Snipe, what up? Yes, yes, what up, what up, what up? What's good, my G? What's happening? What's good, y'all? I'm telling, man, how life treating you, brother? Uh, man, you know we take it one day at a time, baby. You know what I'm saying? Where you calling me from right now? I'm in Y.O., man. Stomping grounds, man. Just the headquarters, man. You know what I'm saying? It's where it all started at. I'm in the hood, though. You know, I just want to take a time out. You know what I'm saying? To, to check in. Appreciate the love. So I always want to show appreciation. We ain't never too big for that. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. No doubt. Let's take it from the beginning, man. Let's talk, let's talk about the name Snipe Life. Talk to me why, where it came from, who gave it to you. Ah, oh, man, that's a long story. I just kind of nip it in the bud, man. You know, growing up as a kid, you know what I'm saying, just kind of, you know, involved with certain things. And actually, I got named by one of the older cats on the block, you know what I'm saying, that, um, you know, he just was like, yo, you like a little fucking sniper, man. Like, you always, you know, I'm low, you know what I'm saying? Right, I don't right. really travel in packs. And, you know, I played with them hammers as a kid, man. Right, so, right. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is, but it just kind of stuck with me with the rap, you know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, I just incorporated it over the years, you know what I'm saying? It, it just kind of stuck with me, you know what I'm saying? Talk to me about, oh, let's go back to when you was 18 years old and an unfortunate part of your life when you was incarcerated. Talk to me about what that did to your mind, your body, and your soul. Oh, uh, man, I mean... You know, just anybody in that type of situation is either going to do one or two things. It's going to make you or it's going to break you. 90% of doing the bid is, is mental. The other 10% is physical. That's just what the world see. The world don't see how you got to actually, you know, hold down the scars that ain't visible. Right. You know what I'm saying? And, and for me, being a young cat, though, you know, it was a blessing and a curse because, you know, I kind of grew up with, with the standards and the codes that came from the prison life. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. And and, um, you know, like I said, it either make you or break you. I was fortunate enough that it built me up, you know what I'm saying? And I, I, I used to rap my whole life, you know what I'm saying, since right. I was a kid, nine years old. But I think when I was incarcerated was the first time that I really could clearly under, get a better understanding of what I was doing and perfected my craft, like, you know what I'm saying? So it was like a gift and a curse for me, you know what I'm saying? So you grew and you changed. Yeah, man, absolutely, absolutely. So when you came home, man, like for those that don't know, man, I know we don't do the name dropping, but talk to me about some of the big artists that you've done features with. Oh, man, that's just an honor and a blessing to just, you know, have a good character, a good aura about yourself that, you know, we was able to connect with, you know, a lot of the cats that might be a little bigger now, right. but we all kind of was on the playing field at that time. But, um, you know, I jumped right to it. I came home. I didn't go to my big bros. Asking, yo, can I get down with D-Block? You know, we from the same, you know, geographic block, right. actually. So we literally grew up in the same hood. So it was really more for me to go and make a name for myself. I incorporated my first company, 354 Entertainment. And, um, you know, we just started working. And, you know, I was blessed to work with Wyclef. I was blessed to work with Joe Buttons and Fat Joe and, you know, Case Lane, Greenland. You know, they was real, you know, open and you know, show me a lot of love. Shout out my homie Mano, you know what I'm saying? Another good brother that rocked with me, my homie French Montana, you know what I'm saying? Fred the Godson. I mean, it's a long list, man. It's right. kind of, it's perfect while I, I, I think for myself, why I named my EP back again because it's like deja vu, you know what I'm saying? I kind of feel like I was in these classes with a lot of these cats and it was kind of like I got left behind, you know right. what I'm saying? You've been dude, working, dude. you've been working. Yeah, I've been working, I've been working, you know, and it's levels to this stuff and you got to understand and appreciate each level that you do come on and it's work to be done each level, you know what I'm saying? Right. And now, so, so, I want to I want to talk to you about a subject that I know means a lot to you. Talk to me about autism and what it means uh -huh. to you and how important it is for you to raise awareness. Oh, uh, man, I mean, you know, despite my life, you know, my life is an open book to the public, you know what I'm saying? Right. And, you know, despite not being proud of a lot of things, which was, you know, a lot of the things that I felt at that time that I had to go through, you know, this is like a whole different chapter. This is my evolution because it's kind of like, you know, now you get an opportunity to make a change. And, you know, it's, it, again, it was another gift and a curse, you know, for, for us as, you know, parents, you know, to, to know that my son has a disability, to know that my son mentally, 
he may not ever be on the same playing field as a normal child ever in his life. And that's just something I got to fight for until until my dying days. You know right. what I mean? But right. it's something real close to my heart. I'm real close to my kids. I didn't really grow up with a dad. So, you know, I'm real close to my sons. And the fact that, you know, he's autistic, it doesn't make him, it doesn't make him you know, less. It just makes him different. Right. And that's what I try to tell all the parents, all the people. You have to embrace it. They, they just different. They're not less, though. Very smart, very, you know, intellectual, mental, you know, and they all have different niches, you know what I right, mean? Right. Very creative. And, you know, long story short with my son, man, you know, like I said, it's a long it's a long evolution, you know, and a long road that, you know, when the cameras and everything is off, this is what I got to go through. And right. I shared some of that with my video with my son. I shared just a, a typical day in the life, you know, with therapy and, you know, different teachers. And, you know, you, you to be an advocate, you really have to live it. You have to, you know, you can't just talk it because it sounds good. Right. Because when the cameras and nobody's watching, you know, we stand for integrity. And that's right. what I tell my sons. You know, you do the right thing even when no one is watching. But this is, this ain't for the people. You know what I mean? This is from the heart. Right, so, right. you know, it's, it's personal for me. But I just want to make everybody aware because simply as the days go by, you see the numbers are getting higher and higher and more and more people are being, you know, touched with this and don't wait till it's in your backyard to try to, you know, get a better understanding. Do it now, you know, so I, I talk all the time. I do, you know, non for profit. Um, We do fundraisers, you know, I, I host entertainments for the kids. We do right. paying, you know, all, all that type of stuff. But, you know, again, autism awareness is real. It's a lot of it, um these people's favorite rappers in the game. They have kids that's autistic. They don't really talk about it. Right. And now they're starting to. So that's a big thing for me because I didn't, I didn't really hear anybody. And, you know, I was self-conscious about it at first. But, you know, it's like, yo, this is my life. I'm never going to front on who I am or what I believe in. This is me because right. then it would never be authentic. And that's what I stand for. So, you know, again, man, autism awareness is real. It's here. It's alive with us. And, you know, we just know when it's half the battle. So, you know, that's what I like to preach. You know what I'm saying? I salute you, brother, man. I salute you for being a father. I salute you for somebody. You know what it is to not have a father and. You know, to have, a, to have to have this struggle that you got going on, you know, I, I salute you. And without the struggle, we ain't going to have no progress, right? Absolutely. It's Salu a beautiful struggle. It's right. a beautiful struggle because it makes us who we are. This Correct. is what we built off of our circumstances, Back. you know what I'm Back. saying? So, Back. you know, this, this, this project I'm bringing is well-rounded, man. It's not, you know, I come from different sides of life, but I've done a lot of things in my life. And I want to show the, the world a balance. And, you know, you don't got to be like the regular rappers trying to follow traits and trends. Everybody's a hustler and everybody right. does this and the third. These are real issues that we go through every day and people ain't talking about. And I want to be the one to do it because, you know, I was I was chosen. I feel like I was picked for this because if, if I wasn't built for it, it wouldn't happen to me. You know what I'm saying? That's real facts. I got the boy Snipe Life. Yes, yes, yes. In live. Let's talk about the yep. new record, man. No doubt, no doubt, man. I, I can't wait, man. It's a, it's a big look for me, you know. It's something I wanted to get the fans to show some diversity. Right. You know, again, this is my growth. A lot of my heart, my hardcore fans, they know me for all the mixtapes. They know me for all the hot 16s on the features and the albums and stuff. But, you know, I wanted to give them something that, you know, for, basically to start off, I wanted to give them something for the ladies because, right. you know, I'm a big fan of hip-hop and I always listen to Pac when he said rap for the chicks and the dudes to follow. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's, <laughs> That's real. Facts, you know what I'm saying? So, but, yo, man, this is a dope record, man. My man Imani, you know, um, we had this in the dungeon. I had this kind of stash for a while. You know, I was kind of hesitant if I wanted to put it out. You know, Luce, that's my big bro. Right. It's his home team, you know what I mean? And, um, you know, they all encouraged me, Kiss, Styles, everybody's like, yo, this is it, yo, you out of here. Like, you know, like that joint. So, you know, I just wanted to test the waters, man, and, you know, let the people see, like, it's it's a whole big, you know, um, it's a whole big pie of different foods here for y'all to eat off this EP. It's not right. going to be one-dimensional, you know what I'm right. saying? So. Yeah, man, without you, though, man, this is this is for the ladies, man, and this is what we really going through. This is what they don't really want to say, but this is what they telling the right, girls right. at home, <laughs> real stuff, you I know, know what I'm saying? I know you got social media, man, so if you want to blast it out there, if they want to book you, features, go ahead, blast it off. Yeah, facts, man. You can reach me on IG, man, Snipe Life D Block, S-N-Y-P Life D Block, all one word. Hit me on Twitter at The Real Snipe Life. Even if you got a Facebook, hit me Snipe Life D Block. You know what I'm saying? Snipe, man. I appreciate you, brother, man. Anytime, brother. Introduce Anytime. your track. We're going to blast it off. No doubt. Here you go right here, live and direct, man. It's your boy Snipe like D-Block's on. Here's my new record off my new EP, November 4th, back again. This record is called Without You, featuring my homie Imani and my big bro, Sheik Looch, man. Let's get it, baby. Yo, All right, Snipe. Appreciate you, brother. Right, Peace. 
Sometimes they right in your face, man If you get out there chasing these groupies They don't even know what's right in front of them You don't even know what you got at home Or that one homegirl that's gonna ride with you to the end I ain't never let you go, man I'll be your fool, baby This shit I do, yes, it gets can resemble. <laughs> Truthfully speaking, I'm a sex symbol. It's all natural, though. Uh-uh. Part my body, half swag, and they love this big apple flow. Big apple, though. Playing tennis with these groupies back and forth. Don Don Mac and Row. Whoa. I admit I'm kind of childish with the watches and the cars and the girls on my phone. But the mortgage all paid and the house is so grown. Uh, smoking weed while I look at you. Baby boy is naked while I cook for you. Louis bags and Chanel's and flights to France. You early morning working now in your yoga pants. Ha, you ain't gonna never stop loving me. You can look, but you'll never find another G. I'll be a fool to set up. Rewind and come back again, Selector. Yeah, when the music is hot, hold up. Take it back from the top. They don't even know what's right in front of them. You don't even know what you got at home. Or that one homegirl that's gonna ride with you to the end. I ain't never let you go, man. I'll be your fool, baby. Clap. If I lost you to the group, in the clubs. I'll be and how could I live later? Clap, I can't do what I'm doing. Have your love. LL Cool Oats. Clap. Come here, baby. Ooh. Hey, y'all. Hold this fly. This shit I do, yes, it gets can resemble. Nah. <laughs> Truthfully speaking, I'm a sex symbol. It's all natural, though. Uh-huh. Part my body, half swag, and they love this big apple flow. Big apple, though. Playing tennis with these groupies back and forth. Don Don Mac and Row. Whoa. I admit I'm kind of childish with the watches and the cars and the girls on my phone. But the mortgage all paid and the house is so grown. Uh. Smoking weed while I look at you. Baby boy is naked while I cook for you. Louis bags and Chanel's and flights to France. You early morning working now in your yoga pants. Ha, you ain't gonna never stop loving me. You can look, but you'll never find another G. I'll be a fool to set her free. I'll be a fool, baby. Oh, yes. Now you want three FM WLVR Bethlehem. Right here's brand new snipe life. Joins hot. How can I live? Turn up. Yo. It's been a long time coming. True. Started from the bottom, see me come up from nothing. Bottom. But through all the bullshit, she still never fronted. I was drunk or blunted, but she was always 100. Word. A lot of the in wanted, but they just can't have her. 52 weeks out of the year, you can't bag her. She loyal. Me, I'm running around like a royal. Uh-huh. The truth is, I was immature, too spoiled. Damn. Used to have it my way. Fresh on a fly day, Fresh. hand on the left eye. West Side Highway, <laughs> cruising with my honey dip. She ain't like the mother chicks, nope. they just want to cash out. She gon' let the money sit, let it sit But it's the little dish that get me vexed Fact. Worrying about a text and if I'm out having sex They ain't nothing but wreck And plus they fear Word. you Them silly boys already know I'll They don't compare to you Word. Yeah. Yeah. If I lost you to the groupies And the clubs I'd be a fool And how could I live Shoot. 